Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO Minifigures blind bag um, opening. And today, I found some Series 17 at Walmart. And I picked up four and eight total bags. And we're going to be opening all of them up right here, right now. And I kind of know what's in these, because I kind of felt some of them, but the, uh, there were a couple that I just randomly grabbed, so we'll see what comes out. Um, I did try to make sure that I didn't get any doubles, but um, I can't make any guarantees. Alright, so number one here is the, uh, the Butterfly Girl, but let's take a look at the pamphlet first uh, yep you can see highwayman still secret on the pamphlet and um yeah there, there's all the figures in the series we'll see how many we get and on the back it shows you how to build some of the harder to build ones oh, that's interesting that it shows you how to build the yuppie he doesn't seem like he's that complicated anyway Let's zoom on in on our first figure. And there's a bug in the background. Not like in the background that you can see, but I can see a bug in the background. Flying around, a little small one. This is actually an interesting figure. I actually, those wings look really cool. Um, that piece, it's a nice part. And again, more flowers. I don't think it's it's been a while since they've used that flower stem piece, um, at least in a minifigure um, series. The last numbered one they used it in was the uh, series seven. That's when it was first introduced, and then I think they also used it for Marge Simpson from series two. But um, yeah, nice little. Uh, butterfly girl. Let's grab the one that was off in the other corner. And let's see what was in here. Ooh, this guy. Ah. Uh, I was looking for the, uh, the last piece, and it was like stuck underneath the thing. It's good that it was actually, you know, there. But, um, eh. the cape's just a normal standard cape. But it feels softer. Like, it feels like this is another newer material. Because it's not the thicker um, cape, but it's not like the old papery kind either. This guy's face is a little weird though. But other than that, and even with that, I guess he does look really cool. Oh, he's got arm printing on there? That's actually really nice, um, really nice design for that. And the, you know, laser gun piece is a laser gun. <laughs> That's, um, uh, I might want to get an extra one of these to go with, uh, the Starfarer comic from, uh, the Stone Armor J figure. Let's grab the other figure that chose to end up on the other side of history. And maybe this will be one of the ones that I was actually... Oh, yeah, I guess this is one of the ones that I was hunting down. And... He's pretty cool. This is the connoisseur, or the French guy. Very typical French guy. You know, just a uh, pretty cool uh, figure, mainly because dog. Um, it's actually a really nice molding on this guy. Uh, the rest of the figure is kind of relatively standard, but, you know, I like that you get more of these different colored baguettes. The medium nougat instead of the light, um, just tan standard one. Uh, it'd be nice if the dog wanted to stay on the... I guess he stands better on his back legs than his front legs. But I like the printing on the torso and face as well. I think that that's nicely done. It's nice to get some more, you know, normal-ish looking characters. 
but here's another bag. And that brings us to four. Oh, this is a good one right here. And one of the pieces rolled off. This is the hot dog vendor. Oh, he has some nice back print, actually. Didn't realize that. He's got the short sleeves. Nice butcher's hat with the red line, which looks surprisingly attractive. You know, it's a nice, appealing uh, print for this piece. And they actually did a really nice job printing that all the way around. I'm going to give him props for that. <laughs> but, um... I think the worst part about this guy is that he can't hold all the accessories. Yeah, you, you have to balance um, the one of them at least on the tray, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that it would have been nice if there were studs or something, just so that everything stays. I guess it is nice that it has a little lip because that kind of helps. But um, I think it's probably best to put this piece over there just because it will probably flop off but that's a cool figure uh, I guess I should give you guys a little bit of a better look at him he's got some really nice detailed print on there and I think that that's just a very good looking figure and nice to get you know hot dog alright this guy feels like he's a good one which means I bet you probably know what that narrows this guy down to. Ah, uh, Cormann. No, Cormann's head. Alright. Retrieved the Cormann's head. <laughs> I like his face, actually. A lot. That's a nice print. And this is a nice mold. Um, obviously, the suit figures usually are. Really nice, uh, it feels nice too, like it's got a good texture. And I think, it, is this one dual molded? Yeah, it is. Because I know with some of the, I think like the hot dog guy, they didn't dual mold it, they just, you know, went with the, the regular, um, just regular printing, not dual molding. But here's another one. Ooh, this is the surfer guy. And there's that. And nice face. And Luke Skywalker here, which I have not had before, so nice to get. And this is the best part. <laughs> the really cool uh, surfboard piece. So, that's cool. And looks like we have two more figures to go. I'm actually not sure who one of these guys is. One of them is still one that I searched for, but one of them is another random bag. And it feels like this is a random bag just because of who the other guy is supposed to be. And, ah, uh, this is one I was kind of looking for, actually, but it wasn't one that I... Found, so I guess the random one I grabbed happened to be this guy, which is cool. This is the yuppie. <laughs> I, I like the, the sunglasses, that's a really good print. Uh, with the copper and the orange. And then, obviously, the phone is the best part in here. Um, not that, you know, the rest of it is bad or anything, it's just the phone is awesome. And there's the Yuppie. Uh, nope, no Mac print, but um, so I guess kind of simple, but it is still a cool figure, and I think he looks really nice. And this guy should be one of the best, if I felt right, which I'm pretty sure that I did. And this guy here is Rocket Boy, and Great classic space torso, always cool to get, especially with the suited figure because you usually don't get torso prints. But I feel like that was a really good choice, um, just to print that little simple.
thing on there. I guess it makes sense because they didn't even print the legs. But then again, with the corn cob guy, they didn't. So I think this guy is just all around better than corn cob guy. Because <laughs> the rocket looks awesome too. Um, yeah. And as a super duper added bonus, you get this awesome classic space flag, which is printed on both sides. <laughs> so I think this guy is one of my favorite, um, you know, figures in the series, and one of the best done figures in the series. Um, but then again, I don't have the whole series yet, so that official judgment will have to wait. As soon as I get the full series, I will be doing a review, but for now, I may do a couple minifigure showcase videos on a couple of these guys, but um, this is what we've got for the time being. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what your favorite Series 17 minifigure is, and let me know which of these guys is the best. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.